There are 13 healer weapons in total. If I missed any, be sure to let me know. But today, I'm gonna give you a one-shot build for each of them. I call this one, the backup battery. <laughs> you wanna know why? Well, first of all, you're like a backup range type, so you get to get in there stun. But you have these amazing capabilities where you can debuff your opponent. So that's what range do, like their black flames. Then you get this tremendous crimson drizzle that stun locks and just does so much damage. I'll show you again. You glimmering flame, you crimson drizzle. All right, it stuns everything. It's incredible. Now, so you also run rebirth. Now this is where I mean backup battery. You can actually bring teammates back to life with this move. It's really great. Uh, what else do you need to know? Healers break guards. Uh, yeah. Glimmer and Flame D-Burst. Grimson Drizzle's great. And your ultimate is amazing. So the next weapon we have is the Crimson Knife. Now the Crimson Knife actually does the same combo animations as the Ninja Sword and a few other moves. But we're pairing this with Shadow Stitching and Palm Sage. Run with Time Space Hop to give us that extra cooldown and survivability. But the idea is it's to stitch, combo, and blast. You ready? Show you again. You get your combo in, you stitch, and blast. It, it kills fast. Show you one more time. You get them, you stitch, and blast. Look at that damage, guys. So the frying pan actually holds the same animations as the knife and the sword. But we've got to give you something different. Uh-huh. Hold it. Two, three. Mm-hmm. Nervous structure. Oh, you served. You tried to ult me. For real. Oh. Bucker. Come here. Stand still when I'm making. Really? Try me. Try me. Yeah. You ain't seen me coming. So, in this build, we're running Water Clone alongside with our Body Blow. Now, this is the secret tech inside of it. Because this is going to slow him down to enable to get our Water Clone off, which is a higher defense debuff than the Glimmering Flames. So, this next weapon is actually a sword from the Seven Deadly Swords, the Sewing Needle, Nibari. Now, this is a very interesting weapon. Yes, sir. Uh, but the build is better. You just go in, Shadow Possession, get the stun down, and Bob's your uncle. Wait, the young guys in America know that saying? Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Anyway, um, Nervous Structure as well as Confuses stuns, so you can actually pull off your Shadow Possession as a combo. Oh yes, and the ult is Shadow Pull. No, 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 no. So this is our first healer DLC weapon. The Show Bottle comes from Tsunade. Similar with animations to the Nabari Needle. But our one shot is the True Seeking Orbs. This will be able to deal with all those Naruto barrages for you. This has also the same effect on things like Needle Jizo and also Hazan Strike. But don't waste it because you will get caught lacking and get punished for it. Our secondary ninjutsu we're going to be running is going to be the Summoning Slug. Now the Summoning Slug is the best summon in the game primarily on its own. Um, but be careful because you can't summon it on walls. But Lady Katsuya, Stacy as I call mine, she'll be able to allow you to tank ultimate techniques and pull off some crazy things, especially when it's paired with a long distance healing. But like I said, if you pop your shoe seeking orbs on barrage users, it will literally one shot without the defense buff. I don't know how that hit me. Oh yes, one more thing. You can actually weave cast with summoning slug. So this will allow you quick cast abilities and also level 2 evasion. Um, with the debuff and good weaving abilities, you can literally just kill people using the slug alone. Yeah, next weapon, Toby Rama Sword. <laughs> so those who remember, I induced PTSD with similar things like this. This is a one shot water pillar build. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> a few moments later. Yeah, that don't work on me and my subscribers. We have good chakra control. I'll give you the secret to this later in the video. But yes, this is very much so a toxic water pillar killing build. You literally need to get the stun off, hit him with the glimmering flames, lift him with the water pillar. Now, even if they have time space hop, mind transfer actually goes through. So they ain't running. And they're dead. <laughs> Hi, guys. Quick reminder, hit the like button, please. Thank you. 
So the Itachi Blade. This is my favorite variation of the Ninja Swords. And probably my favorite build in this list, actually. So you don't see no debuffs. And this is actually done through precision. You get your stun up and you lock him in the Tsukiyomi. Bird clone. Watch the substitution video if you don't understand what that is. So we do this again. You get inside here, you get your stun off, you Tsukiyomi, you put them inside of it. You load it up, lava, and you hit them with it. They're already dead. Already dead. Oh my god! Wow! So, Kimamaru Bone. Um, this actually holds very similar animations to the ones that show. Uh, Nubari Needle, that sort of thing. We're running this with Chakra Scalpel and also shadow stitching pairing this with the paper bomb kuno allows an explosive finish but the secret to win tornado you need to use r2 and l2 to plant yourself and as long as you stay on the floor and use your l2 animations or charge attacks you will stay planted but this build is pretty simple it will get on everyone's nerves hitting with a stitch Get inside, take away the substitution, Jisoo's ultimate. They can't even use R2 no more. This build really is the bane of every rusher's existence. And if that don't kill him, just throw another one and finish him off. So next up, we have the elegant umbrella. So this is a variation of the Sakura Nogunata. Now, I don't have that weapon. I don't have a modded account to be able to show you it or anything like that. So we need to show you this one instead. Damn, I spoke for it. Let me show you again. So we go inside here, we get him stunned. Yeah, hit him with the glimmering flames. Then we punch him. So the great thing is with Cherry Blossom Crash. Clash, crash, one of them. It boosts your healing after it's been used. Now this is gonna allow you to be able to use this in comp settings because you're gonna be able to heal yourself and the team for so much more and still secure kills. Spinning Rebellion. This is actually the Chakra Assisted Umbrella. Um, there's actually two, Scattered Rain as well. I don't have that one. So if you have a build for that, let me know in the comments section. But this build, we're running Shadow Stitching and Triangle. Look at that damage, y'all. That's absolutely incredible. You don't even need to do nothing. Effortless. So, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Chill, 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 chill. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Oh, you stealing kills? Nah, come here. I was making the video. Bye-bye. Backhanded explosion. Now, I need you guys to watch this first clip for a second. I'm not going to talk. Watch. <laughs> Crazy, right? Okay, so let me show you how it goes. Let me show you it one more time. So we were using Paper Bomb to bring them back. Summoning Slug lifts into the Crimson Drizzle to lock us up and destroy with a power boost. It's absolutely incredible, yo. Um, and for our ultimate, we're going to be running Lion Fist Arch. It will weave and kill. So, Madara Staff. Um, this is a DLC weapon only. You get it from Sage's Six Path Madara only. Um, it's actually the best staff out there. This includes um, the umbrella sections, the Nuganata itself, but you don't need that. The build does it itself. So all you need to do is use your heavy boulder into the glimmering flame and hit him with the Yasuke piece. They're dead. Nothing else is needed. Now, the great thing with Susano, as much as it's an offensive tool and everyone hates getting hit by it, it actually protects you from even Night Guy. Yeah. So, the Crimson Spear is actually number two of all healer weapons on terms of range and damage. Um, it competes with Moderus. That's absolutely amazing. You can run this with hard light now this is to stop asthma knuckle knife users so you get your super armor immunity but pairing just the glimmering flames with biakigan will kill your opponent with practically one combo if you combo reset but it's not really hard to get over literally get in there weave whatever needs to be done stun into the glimmering flames biakigan and ggs so, Violent Waves, my favorite but not the best hand-to-hand -hand weapon for healers. It's great, watch this. So what you're gonna do is get in there, you stitch him, and you hit him with the... That was totally wicked! 
yeah, this build's incredible, right? Absolutely amazing. So for those who would like to actually know, the, um, the clothing skills I've been running for this was one-man army and also robust fighter. Yeah, they really didn't complement the build at all. Um, but the build literally works well for itself alongside with my own natural skill. But if y'all want to see more videos like this, maybe the attack, defense, or even range version, be sure to let me know in the comments section. And I'll get that out to you as soon as I can. Um, but really truly, yo, this build is so great, bro. I like you just there, you stitch him, you go doof, doof, doof. Call me on me, I'm hot. It's like, yeah! <laughs> Blessings.